What's up, y'all? I'm back, and this is like my fourth video, and it's going to be about 10 things I wish I knew before high school. So, without any more talking, let's get right into it. The number one would be that everybody is not your friend because high school is full of fake ass bitches and niggas, and they will talk to you in your face and they will talk hella shit behind your back. And you just gotta be aware of those kind of people. Number two, handle people with a long handle spoon. If you know that, you know, I, don't, I might not be able to trust this person, but you know they cool and you know still want to have a relationship with them. Just handle, handle them with a long handle spoon. Like, you know, you can be cool with cordial with them. But you don't got to tell them all your secrets and, you know, get them out of tea, honey. Because that's going to be a mess. And they're going to go back and tell it to their friends. Or when y'all stop talking, they're going to put it out back in your face. The third one would be to get cool with your teachers. You know how to get cool with all of them. Because, you know, you got the one of those, you know, those few teachers that you don't really like. And, you know, they can choke. But, like, the ones that you know you can get cool with, get cool with them. Because they'll look out for you. Like, I'm so mad. My um, AP Environment Science teacher, I'm so mad that I didn't get, like, closer with her sooner because, for one, she's, like, real close to my mom. And she could have, you know, been looking out for me, helping me with stuff and all that, blah, blah. But get cool with your teachers because you need them for, like, recommendations and stuff. But, you know, there's some, some teachers that, you know, you just fall out with. Like, when, uh, I always had that one or two teachers that I don't like every year. And I always fall out with them. This year is kind of different. Kind of different. Well, I did fall out with my quad teacher, but we're back to, you know, we're back cool. But yes, get to know your teachers. Get cool with them. They will look out for you. And number four will be don't get yourself a bad reputation, especially during your freshman year, because it's going to live with you through all four years. They're going to still talk about it, still talk about it. Like, Please don't be going right into high school, sucking dick, and getting fucked in cars and stuff by seniors. And, Cause they will try, you know. Oh, they have tried my friends. Like, I know one of my friends, she was a freshman. Well, when we were freshmen, she was trying, this thing was trying to talk to her. I'm just like, boy, ain't you grown? Number five is be yourself because. High school is full of whole, a whole bunch of different personalities, so you're going to find somebody that you mix with, you know, even if you being yourself, because, you know, it's full of, you know, the weirdos, the lames, the cool people, or whatever, sports, the gays, um, the, the lesbians, or whatever. Like, you going to just be yourself because you will find the friends that match your personality and match you and match your interests. If you just be yourself, don't go in high school thinking you got to be somebody else. To be cool or, you know, whatever. But, yeah, be yourself. Because my freshman year, I was still kind of in the closet. And I wasn't myself as much as I really wanted to be. But after that, after my sec first, really after my first semester, honey, I was shutting it down, honey. I was dipping it and doing it, boo. How you Number six would be to do your work. Because a lot of people did. I went to school with, middle school with, and I came to high school with. They haven't lasted all four years because one, they were work, focused on other stuff than they work or, uh, you know, other stuff basically. And two, they didn't do their work at all. And three, they just did something. They they made bad decisions. Like you, honestly, I've cheated my way through a lot of tests and all that, but. If you don't do the work, at least try to cheat or something, you know. Don't don't just not do the work. Get it from your friends or something. Because, you know, we all got to help each other if we all want to graduate together. A, a class who cheats together, passes together, okay? This is not, this not good advice. This is really not good advice. So, like, don't, don't, don't do this. You do your work for real. This is not good advice. But, you know. Yeah. And the number seven would be to make good choices, uh, like... Oh my God. Like, if you're going to make a choice, you got to think about the consequences. You got to think about, is my mama going to find out about this? And what's she going to do if she find out? Will she be happy? Will she be proud? Two, what are my consequences going to be if I get caught doing this? Like, don't try to have sex at school. 
uh, you could easily get caught. But you know, if you do, please find a good place. Don't don't be trying to do it where you know somebody's gonna walk through or could possibly walk through. Find you a little spot or something, babe. Please don't just do it in a in a stairwell like a lot of people at my school. Okay. Anyway, the number eight will be make sh make sure you cover yourself because the teacher's definitely gonna cover their ass. Like, if you get in trouble for something that you didn't do, make sure you got yourself covered because they gonna cover themselves. Or something happened in class and your mama and, some, and like the principal all that gotta get involved. Make sure you got you know your st your tracks covered, your evidence, whatever you need because those teachers gonna have them regardless. Like I had to learn that the hard way. If I ain't got it, the teachers finna have it, and I'm finna go down before they go down. They gonna put, you know, they gonna let you go down before you go down. So you gotta have your shit together, for real. Cause some of these teachers, they really be out to get you. They just be there to collect their checks. They don't even be trying to teach for real. Oh, catch the tea on that. Number nine will be don't be trying to fall in love in high school. Well, I mean, you could. It's it's rare if you find your high school sweetheart, but. If they, if you know that nigga ain't doing you right, and you know he cheating on you, and don't don't try to keep him, okay? It's not gonna last past high school, cause when you go to college, it's gonna be a whole bunch of fine ass niggas I've heard, and you're not gonna be worried about them. So like, don't be so focused on a relationship that you lose yourself. It's high school. It's just four years to have fun and do your work, and not be worried about no nigga or no bitch, okay? Do your work. Focus on graduation, cause that's really the, the purpose of being there to get that diploma. And get that in and, and get that education, but these niggas and bitches can wait for real. Like get that quick net or whatever, and you go and work, work, work. Okay. And the last thing would be make sure you graduate because it's so much. Like save up some money, please, starting your freshman year, cause seeing stuff, it's so much stuff you gotta pay. Seeing fees, prom, outfits. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to have to pay. And start saving now. And uh, college application fees. Make sure you get cool with your counselor because they give you a lot of scholarships. Um, I've been applying for a whole bunch of scholarships recently. And I also got accepted into my number one school, Clark Atlanta University. And that's where I plan to attend in the fall. So, yeah, you know, I'm going to have some videos coming about that too. And some vlogs coming soon. Um, so thank y'all for watching and I hope y'all learned something from these 10 things I wish I knew before high school because I wish somebody would have told me these things like four years ago, three years ago, because high school is supposed to be the best four years of your life, but it's honestly one of the rough, hit, the roughest because that's when you like really find out who you are and really discover yourself and go through some of the worst things. But all in all, my three last three years and my first semester of my senior year have been like a roller coaster to be honest. It was like full of ups and downs, ups and downs. But I'm glad I met the people I met and I'm just ready to graduate, child. Okay, that's all. I'm ready to graduate. Graduation is coming. Graduation is coming. Six still six month school days. Oh, Good, I don't know what's going on, man. I cannot talk. 60 more school days, y'all, and I'm out this bitch. Okay. Anyway, bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.